Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. My name is David Ellis and I have a delicious apple crisp recipe for you this evening. We want to get started by preheating our oven until 350 degrees. This can also be made in a smoker, but it's gotten a little cold here in Minnesota, so I'm going to cook this inside tonight. I like to begin by making the topping. And it all gets started with one stick of cold butter. Dice this into smaller chunks. So then you want to get that into a mixing bowl. And to that mixing bowl, you want to add three quarters of a cup of old fashioned oats. I'm also going to add one cup of light brown sugar. And here comes perhaps the hardest part of this recipe, cutting the butter, the oats and the sugar together. I like to use an old butter cutter and you just apply a little force and work it all together. And once you've got your butter all cut together, the next thing you wanna do is just add a little bit of cinnamon. This is more of a preference here. I just add about a teaspoon to it. If you enjoy more cinnamon, then by all means add more cinnamon. You could also add more interesting things to your topping. I also add to add a little pinch of nutmeg. And don't forget the salt. Then I just take a fork and blend that all together. And I'll put this in the fridge while we get the apples ready. So I've used all kinds of apples to make apple crisp before. People say they prefer green apples, but I think I actually prefer red apples. But to be honest with you, the real decision maker is the cost of the apple in the store. Today I've got some red apples and you want about six to eight of them in total. And what you wanna do is just peel them and then dice them up. Once you have your apples diced up, you want to add a little bit of lemon. Slice her open, and about a half a lemon here will do the trick. Make sure you don't get any seeds in there. All right, so once I've got my lemon in there, let's give it a good mix. And then to your apple mixture here, you want to start by adding a little sugar. I'm going to use white sugar here. We're going to use two tablespoons. If you figure that you've used a more bitter apple, then you probably want to add a little bit sugar, a little bit more sugar here to just help introduce a little bit more sweetness to your apple crisp. And then I'm just going to come back and add a little bit more cinnamon here. And we're going to also add a little bit more nutmeg. And I add, like to add a tap, a cap full of vanilla and another little pinch of salt. I like to cook my apple crisp in a cast iron skillet. So just go ahead and get your apples in there. Get those spread out nice and even there. And then you want to get your topping out of the fridge. And that's nice and cold and you just want to get that poured right down on top of your apple crisp. And get it spread out all nice and even. And doesn't that look absolutely perfect? I'm going to go ahead and get this into our oven at 350 degrees. But again, if you wanted to use a pellet smoker or any smoker for that matter, as long as you've got it around 350 degrees, you'll have favorable results as well. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more recipes. I'll be back in about 40 or 50 minutes to check on our apple crisp here. We'll be able to tell when it's getting done when the edges are nice and crispy and bubbly and the toppings browned a little bit. It's going to be absolutely delicious. I can't wait to show you guys. Apple crisp should be absolutely perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it for us. And all that's left to do is grab your favorite spoon, bowl, or in my case, coffee mug, and get yourself a good, nice serving there. Oh man, that looks absolutely delicious. And I like to top mine with a nice scoop of vanilla ice cream and give it a good drizzle of salted caramel sauce. And there you have it, apple crisp, fresh out of the oven. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.